Hello beautiful one, I hope you've had a really good solid breakfast because there is a massive Bushra rant coming your way and if you're not adequately nourished, you might not survive that. So please make sure that you've had something really fatty and really caloric before you actually watch this video because this video is all about the spontaneously combusting seven figure launches. Yes, I know you know all about those seven figure launches. They were happening, they were all the rage in 2015. 16, 17, and some parts of 18. Um, and I used to look at those launches and be like, oh my God, there will be a day when I will have a seven figure launch. And I started saying this out loud to my husband. And one fine day he was like, okay, you know, the biggest problem with your obsession with the seven figure funnel is that you're focusing on the top line. Let's do the numbers and let's see how much of that seven figure launch that you're obsessing about, how much of it actually translates into real cash in your bank account. If you want to get to that seven figure launch, what do you aspire to have in your bank account? I was like, I think of that, but I'm going to do some research. So his question prompted me to do, do some research, talk to a few people, talk to a few seven figure, eight figure funnel experts and really observe what's going on in the industry. And this is what I found out. <laughs> I hope you're ready for this shock and why I stopped obsessing over a seven figure launch after I figured this out. First of all, a seven figure launch that actual, the person who had a seven figure launch, actual conversation with that person. I was like, okay, so you used affiliates. How many of those sales actually came from the affiliates? And the answer was about 85%, right? Now, most of these affiliates are being paid 50% off the sales. And I was like, okay, so you need to give 50% to the affiliate. And I was told that, no, you don't need to give 50%. In fact, after you add in the competition prizes and everything else, the number goes up to 60, 65%. That means that out of your seven figure launch of a $1 million that looks great, you're literally giving away 500 to 600,000 to your affiliates right off the top. That means that right away without any other expenses accounting, without accounting for any other expenses, you just lost half of your seven figure launch, right? So now let's talk about the rest of the 500,000. Just because you have affiliates does not mean apparently that you don't have to run Facebook ads. You still have to spend money on advertising and the rate, going rate, the going uh, conversion ratio for ads for these launches are typically double. So if you want to make $500,000, you need to spend $250,000 to make $500,000. That's the going rate for 2018 because ads are getting expensive. So that means that you slice off another 200K. If I'm being really generous, I would say slice off another, say 150K of that 500K that you were left with, right? Now you're left with $350,000 and you haven't accounted for any of the other expenses. So in order to have that seven figure launch and have all of those big affiliates promoting you, you need to have top of the line assets, which means professionally shot videos, professionally done sales page copies, swipe files, emails, all of that, and a full affiliate management team. If you account for all that cost, you're probably talking about another $150,000 just for someone to manage your launch, talk to all of your affiliates, create all the copy, do all the videos, manage this whole massive spontaneously combusting machine. So that's another $150,000. So where are we right now? We were at 350, now another 200, now another 150 is gone, which means that we are left with $200,000. And now we're talking about paying ourselves. We haven't paid ourselves at all, but I want you to understand the magnitude of this. This still does not account for other costs like payment processing, processing costs, which we all have to pay. And it's about another 5% of, again, depending on what your rate is, but another 5% of your total uh, sales. So that means that you still have to account for, for the payment processor expenses, any bank charges, any refunds, uh, any people who default on their payments. If you keep into all of that in account, you're probably left with 100,000 out of that seven figure launch. Now, I want to ask you, is it worth the effort? Is it worth hiring 22 people, managing 100 plus affiliates, going through that pain of creating so much new content and managing all of these moving pieces for $100,000 that you could have easily made by doing a launch of just of your own? 
As far as I'm concerned, my answer is super clear. I would rather spend $10,000 and make $100,000 with a single solo launch of my own, which by the way, is an actual ad conversion when I am selling something on my own. Why? Because I don't have a hundred affiliates promoting the same thing and people scrambling to get the best bonus. I'm not muddying my own water. The only place these people can buy something is from my website, which means my conversions are lower. Uh, my my uh, uh, cost per acquisition is super low and I can actually 10x my money by spending it strategically on Facebook ads and buying acquisition so this is not to say that affiliate launches are all shit but this is to tell you and explain to you the next time you get all you know like oh my god seven figure launch I want you to know that it's just a vanity number it's not a seven figure launch a seven figure launch does not mean a million dollars in your bank account and when I find that out, <laughs> that out and I shared that with my hub's husband and had to endure his I told you so um, I actually now have stopped obsessing about big launches. Forget even seven figure launches. I don't even think about doing 200K, 300K launch. I would rather do small launch, go deep with my buyer, spend more time and energy and engagement with them, build a relationship with them and end up with more money in my bank account than if I had to battle all of those other things. I don't have to grow my team to 20, 30, 40, 50 people. I don't have to run after my affiliates, do any of that shit and still make money. So honestly, the only people who make money in these big massive launches are the affiliates because they're smart. They don't have to create content. They don't have to create swipe files, create assets, anything at all. All they have to do is to build an audience and sell these affiliate products and they make money. Super smart. I hope you enjoyed this rant and you're not fainting. I will see you really soon. If you agree with me or disagree with me, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your opinion on this, but I'm still right. <laughs> Bye.